everybody, how's it? Oh, this is Jeeves here, your old composer here at the Decomposer Lounge. Pulling back the layers, dissecting your favorite tracks. And uh, lots of requests for, I'm gonna, I can't, I don't think I can get this right again, but you guys are used to me, kinda. Dimu Bourges, Dimu Bourgier, Bourgier. Once again, I mean no offense. <laughs> but this one is called Progenies of the Great Apocalypse. Now, I did do one of theirs a long time ago, and I remember it was very massive, very musical theater, very masterful music, musical theater, you know, a very intense blend of uh, metal and classical. So I guess maybe that's a theme of what they are all about. I guess I'll find out here on this particular song. I want to thank you. You know who you are. So consistent. You've been bombing me forever, ever. Uh, for this track, but um, it's made it. It made it to the list. The list that is so overwhelming that I feel like I just want to burn it and start all over again because I can't, you know, I got that thing inside of me where I want to make everybody happy and do all their songs, but it's just freaking impossible. Uh, anyhow, but it's possible today because I'm doing this one that has been on the list for a long time and heavily requested. So, like usual, thank you so much for your support uh, on Patreon. Choo all right. Also, cups of coffee, the merch, people checking out the headsets, all that sort of fun stuff. Okay, let's do this. Uh, this is Dimu Borge, Borgier, uh, from the album Death Cult Armageddon. Very large, massive, you know, th uh, titles I'm, I'm spouting off here. This was done apparently in 2003, and I did a little more research, and apparently they are from Norway and uh, also formed in 1993. So I, I didn't dig deep, but it, I'm sure they've probably gone through some shifts of members. Perhaps you guys let me know about that part of the musicpedia kind of stuff that you guys can lay on me, especially if you are uh, giant fans of the band. Okay, let's do this. Uh, so here we go. Progenies of the Great Apocalypse. All right. <laughs> This is so huge, so con it, the, to me the, where the complexity is, is the incredible mix. It is so hard in my world, at least I don't have a lot of experience in mixing that style of music. Obviously, and a lot of stuff I do for media, frankly, doesn't get to be this large unless it's something like maybe a massive movie theme, of which I've never done, <laughs> uh, of that nature. Um, it, it, this is like if you took Star Wars and you added because to me it has that, that John Williams type of powerful composition that's really steeped in the horn and the brass section. I can hear that there is in unison orchestral uh, uh, arrangements going there. What I mean by that is before I get to the band, yeah, this is about the band, but I'm sorry, I'm a composer, I'm gonna hit the orchestral stuff first. What I mean by that is, uh, in unison is, for instance, a lot of the, the powerful rips that we're hitting, uh, that you're hearing, uh, and um, the very agitated 
uh, approach of the brass section is what is so powerful to cut through, you know, in my opinion, this kind of a rock uh, presentation, this, this hybrid composition. Um, but in the back, I can hear full, you know, melody notes and stuff ha happening uh, in unison, which means they're all following one note. It's not a very extremely complex harmonies and different sections going off. But there's a lot of these beautiful dynamics uh, that are going on. These really great rips, brass rips. Uh, it sounds like there's a there's a complete reed section in there, uh, which including uh, flutes like like flutes and oboes and stuff. They're like the Ginsu knife of um, you know their sections and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm I I believe I'm hearing a lot of those accents. You know that kind of a stuff, of a stuff. Uh, so now let's get to the, let's get to the band aspect of it. Um, I love the power of the band. I am a little more enamored right now with the orchestra or orchestral work of it, but I love the power and what it is that I'm hearing. But one of the fun things that I'm also hearing is the fact that they are staying pretty much within a tight area of the key. Boom, 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 boom. That in essence, if this was a strict orchestral piece, you know, there would be that with the guitar and the bass and the drums are being held down with other sections of brass and, you know, you know, agitato strings and, and or, you know, staccato, spit staccato type work that's go would be going on in the bottom with the double bass and, and trombones and all the deeper, you know, representations of each one of the sections in the orchestra. Uh, the vocals at first caught me off guard uh, because I just didn't know what to expect. So everything right at this point seems to be more just that powerful, uh, you know, growly kind of performance. But it was very high, the EQ is very bright. You know, it seemed kind of, at first, because I'm so caught up in this kind of, it feels like that witchcraft style of, you know, power theater of the mind. That when I first heard the vocals, I was like going, Gollum? You know, <laughs> but that's, a, that's, a, that's not a ding. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, saying something crappy about it. I'm just saying, at first that's what it came to mind. I'm sorry, I goobered on. I'm gonna do you guys a favor. I'm gonna run through the rest of the song and save the rest of my uh, yabba dabba dooba dabba da for the end. Okay, so let me go back a little bit here. Yeah. 
Okay, it looks to me that probably went into another song. If you guys are big fans of this, I apologize if it does. Um, it looks like I'm going to really want to hear some of this. Uh, that was, remember what I said at the beginning? I said I've done one of their songs and, I re and it sounded very masterful combination, this hybrid thing. And this did not um, fail to hit that mark. There's no two ways. But I love, first of all, so let me talk about just my, you know, vibe. Look at this, I goobered. I'm such, older I get, the better I was, right? One of these kind of tweaky, muggy things. Anyhow, um, the actual composition, the band, I don't know, I, I just, you know, obviously the song was written first, you know, so the musicianship and the composition of it, I really loved how they moved around a little bit in the section before they went full orchestral on there. And, uh, but the, the, the drummer is absolutely mental. I, they all are. At this level, all the musicians are absolutely mental, but love a lot of the bass uh, lines that were happening underneath. A lot of times you hear me sing the praise of bass work only because sometimes it is, a, it is the, um, you know, the laser. You know, sometimes if you've ever seen like a missile fire, fired at a tank and the missile goes, <laughs> there's, there's that point that it wants to hit. To me, the, the, the bass line a lot of times in passages where they can go do 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 and they're the ones doing that, adding that, you know, special aspect to the, you know, the turnarounds. Um, there was a couple of times in there where I was like, whoa, 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 that's fucking mental. And, um, but I, I think the overall for me is this, this orchestral work is absolutely amazing. And I don't know if it's one of the members of the band that does this. Um, there's a lot of uh, dynamic flair that are happening in the arrangements. So like I said, there's there's not a lot of really super deep, rich, crazy harmonic answer back, you know, nine different melodic arrangements happening. For those of you who, you know what I'm talking about, if you're orchestrators or composers and stuff, where you can take something like this. But I think the unique challenge was to take something as powerful as the song as it was written and performed, performed by the band and be able to stay within the context of that composition and, and production, yet push the envelope of the orchestration and the arrangement of the orchestra. The beautiful voices in the background. I mean, this is this is where I get a little, I don't know a lot about the genres, and this is where I, I kind of, with my little scope of what I've done on this channel, this is that Nightwish kind of, and I, and I, I don't mean anything if you, oh my God, he just compared us to. No, I'm not saying comparing. I just, this huge, massive type of orchestrated rock, you know, um, symphonic metal kind of power seems to emanate from, you know, that part of Europe, you know, very large, very powerful, very, very, um, gothic's not the word, but, uh, you know, where am I thinking of, uh, um, Viking-like, I'm sorry, <laughs> I thought of the hats with the horn, but, you know what I'm saying, very, you know, uh, we're going to go and we're going to conquer kind of a thing, and at the same token, it is just so, it, prov it, it is so provocative in the sense that in here, the, th the it evokes such a theater of the mind, you, you literally can, you know, put together your play, your musical theater. If you've never seen this band, like I have never, in my mind, I'm thinking, my God, I'm dark and heavy and maybe castles and witchcraft and all kinds of great stuff. And it just, when music does that, and when music can do that to us, the, especially the bands that we love or the artists that we love, that's what music's all about. It is, for me, it's a distraction of what the hell's happening all around the world here. And I get involved in a song like this, and it takes me to that full-on, fantasy land of being able to take a piece of music and paint pictures in your head. At least that's what it does for me. Maybe that, <laughs> maybe I got the chemical imbalance because that's what happens to me. I hear music, I see colors, images, and everything else pops in front of me, you know, so maybe I should check what's really in this coffee. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for hanging out. I know I'm kind of long-winded on this, but when I hear music like this, I just get completely pumped and, and, uh, and, and such a joy from how I hear things, you know, to listen to such powerful uh, work like this. So I know I'm probably going to get some more suggestions. Uh, so please leave uh, the comments below suggestions of either more from this band or other bands 
uh, similar or whatever, you know, in the same genre, you know, what is it, symphonic metal kind of thing. And I want to thank you for hanging out, buying me a cup of coffee, or checking out the merch and all that sort of fun stuff. All right, guys, take care. Aloha. Ah, All right.